Lawrence talked. Kind of faked off the audition for why. And talked. And she made up those stories. And talked. In their own. He told them everything he knew. This is open secret in the Chinese immigrant community. And so Lawrence became the central witness in what the FBI would call Operation Fiction Writer. Which of course means he needed a code name. What was your code name? Yeah, called Talk. What? T O R Q U E. Tork? Your code name was Tork? Yeah. Tork. As in the force that turns something. Lawrence became the FBI's Tork. He turned their entire investigation around. Lawrence gave the agency a detailed picture of all the people involved in pumping out fraudulent asylum applications in Chinatown and Flushing. He poured over photo books to identify suspects. He turned over his huge study guides, which plainly laid out every step of the fraud, from story writing to evidence fabrication to interview coaching. And then the FBI turned him into, we're going to call him a special agent. They gave Agent Tork some spy gear. Actually, I would expect something really sophisticated from FBI, from FBI, but actually, that's, that's just like hearing aid kind of stuff. Oh, it looked like you were wearing a hearing aid? Seems it looks like that. A hearing aid with a ridiculously long cable sneaking underneath his FBI-issued shirt. Every, every time they ask me to wear their shirt, the shirt they gave me, Oh. But the shirt is really popular, I have to say. <laughs> the reporter for his special hearing aid microphone bulged conspicuously from his back pocket. And the special spy camera that they gave him, it actually poked out from his shirt collar. It's like a big button.